Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as I saw by the title, is a shot mustache. <sighs> Haven't done one of these in a hot minute. Um, I really just wanted to give my collection a break. Basically use what I wanted when I wanted. And um, um, yeah, I felt like I did that for a, quite a while, a couple weeks now. So I really want to go back to shopping my stash and um you know dedicating a week to different makeup products so yeah let's just get started i actually don't have a tutorial for you because obviously last week i didn't shop my stash but there will be a tutorial in next week's video don't worry so let's just get into it okay so the area in here is just a tad bit smaller right here because i don't have a basket anymore but i am just going to be leaving the weekly makeup products right here so these are just random products um that kind of just fit here but some of these will switch out some of them will keep so I, this is my elf flawless finish foundation i actually am going to put this aside for the week um i used it all last week and i used a couple of new products last week and i have a really bad breakout across my face like there are red bumps across my entire face and i don't know what it is um i started using this as well as my um maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser and because i haven't used this in so long i don't know if it's this or this or another product that i also have been using which i'll show in a little bit so i'm gonna put both of these on the side which means i don't have a primer for this week um which kind of sucks but i'm gonna have to do it just so i can see um so that my skin clears up and then i introduce new products one at a time so i know exactly what's breaking me out so I'm going to put these on the back burner for now. And for foundation, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Tinted Moisturizer. Um, I have the shade Beige. If you guys have been here before, you know I love this um, foundation. It's just a very light coverage kind of thing. And I think I'll really like that this week. Um, yeah, there's not much to be said. I'm going to be using this this week. Okay, and then for concealer, I have this, the e.l.f. Camo Concealers. I'm actually, I'm just going to go with my OG Maybelline Fit Me and give it some use this week. I have the shade Sand Sable. It's a really, really light shade, um, but I make it work. So I'm actually going to use this this week. I'm also going to... Nah. I'm actually going to also pull the e.l.f. Camel Concealer in the shade Medium Beige. Um, this one I like to do for spot concealing, and I think because I have such a light coverage um, foundation, it'll be nice to add some coverage with the um, uh, concealer. So we'll pull those. And then for setting powder, I'm actually going to use, again, I need something that's like kind of OG that I know is not breaking me out. This actually right here is my e.l.f. Um, Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. I have the shade Light... Um, Yes, the shade Light Medium. I don't know. I think it's the shade Light Medium. Um, I actually psh, hit pan on it. Yeah. Rub, depotted it. Broke it. Repressed it. So that's where we're at now. But I'm actually going to use that uh, this, this week. As well as my NARS blush. I did depot it. Just because I felt like it was easier. This is the NARS, the most famous blush of all. This is actually in another project pan just to get it out of my collection. Because I hate saying the name of this um, uh, blush. And I hate saying that I'm not going to say the name of it. Which is just stupid for people who are watching. So I'm just going to use as much as I can. Hopefully hit pan on it. Or use a lot of it up. Get it out of my collection so I don't have to use it or do that anymore. So, so I'm going to pull these two this week. Okay, and then for bronzer, I actually got this new... Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. Um, again, this is in the shade What Shady Beaches. Um, again, I'm, the new products, I don't know what's breaking me out. But the thing is that the breakouts are over my entire face. Like my forehead, my like the center of my face where I don't put bronzer. So I'm assuming that it is not the bronzer. So I'm going to pull this bronzer. And I'm also going to pull this amuse matte bronzer just to mix them i did get a couple new bronzers which you'll be seeing soon um and so i really want to hit pan on this it's taking forever so we're going to use this as well we have my nars blush but i think i want to pull actually no 
I think I'm gonna pull. Psh, 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 psh. These are new, new. Okay, I think I'm gonna pull my Balm Beach blush. I don't know what I'm doing with this. It is in a project pan right now, but I might be switching that out. But might as well give it some use because I have not used this in so long because I just have not been reaching for it. So we're gonna pull this. It's the uh, Balm Beach by The Balm. You know what, something's just telling me not to pull this this week, so I'm gonna put it back. I think I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull, actually let's pull, okay, let's just go in the order. So for highlighter, we're gonna use this e.l.f. Uh, highlighter in the shade Apricot Glow. And then for blush, let's just go like in within the order. We're gonna pull the e.l.f. blushes in the shades Berry Mary and Mellow Mauve. So we'll pull both of those this week got quite a few blushes and then we just pulled the highlighter like i said the elf highlighter for brows of course we're going to keep using the wet and wild brow pencil and the nyx control freak i'm really tired of these so i'm really trying to just hurry and get them out of my collection so close guys so close soon soon okay and then for eyeshadow um this is not next i actually gave this a week a little bit ago i just have not um didn't film that video what i've been using recently um a couple of times i think i used it once actually was the elf opposites track palette um i am going to put it away because i have not just i have just have not been feeling this palette like i love it the quality is a1 of course it's so beautiful amazing but i feel like i don't know I just have not been wanting to play with it. So we're going to put this in the back um, away where... Actually, I'm going to put it away where all the other palettes go. And again, I have given this a week. I just keep it there so that I know um, to use the Project Pan shade, which is Peach Bum. So I leave that there. Uh, we have enough blush. So the next palette is the Essence Spice of Your Life palette. And I actually... Oh, oh, oh no... I don't want to use this palette, so I'm not going to use this palette. I know, like, what's the point of rotating them if you're not going to use them? But I really just don't want to. So I am going to pull both of these. I'm going to pull the Huda Beauty um, Ruby Obsessions and the ColourPop Ooh La La palette. We can do some creative things with these. Um, Actually, I'm lying. I'm going to put the Ooh La La back. I'm just going to pull the Huda Beauty one. Nope, switch it. I'm just going to pull my ColourPop one. I'm going to leave the Huda Beauty one. So I'm just going to use this one because I forgot. I always use my Dream Shoe palette um, alongside of them. And so rather pull these two defellers down there instead of three of them. So we'll use those two. And then for, um, I'm actually going to pull this eyeliner. This is the LA Splash um, Slim Eyeliner in Waterproof. I'm going to actually use this. I haven't used it. And I feel like if I give it a week... I'll actually use it. I have three mascaras here. I'm actually going to pull this pink one right here and my Clinique High Impact Mascara. Um, all of these mascaras, honestly, I open them around the same time, so they all will be ending with um, within the next month or the like between April and May. Um, so I really want to give them some use, and I've been neglecting uh, this Clinique one, so I'm going to use these two this week. I like this one for my upper lashes, the Clinique one, and then the pink one for my lower lashes. So we're going to put the um, SS one back. Use that. And then this shadow in here is just my um, Juvia's Place, one of the shadows from in there. It doesn't have a shade name or else I would just tell you it. Um, but it is, I depotted that palette and this is in my project pan. So if you see that, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm actually getting really close. You can start to see the ring in there. Um, this kind of just stays out here and I use it whenever I can. I can actually put it back here with my other project pan one, but, um, those kind of just stay. And then what is this? A highlighter can go over there. And then what is next? Lip products. I have this e.l.f. lip pencil in the shade Berry Mary. Um, in the shade Berry Sorbet. Um, I'm actually going to pull though this e.l.f. Um, Champagne Glam lip product. This is actually in a project pan. Um, a new project pan that will be going up on March 12th. So stay tuned for that. Um, but I'm going to pull this just to give it some use. And I don't want this this week. I'm going to have to force myself, and I don't want to force myself. 
Um, do I want anything else? I'm actually going to pull this AOA Studio Wonder Matte Lipstick in the shade Hype. It's a pinky color, so I think it will look really pretty with my Ulo Off palette. We're just going for all pink over here. Wow. Okay, and honestly, guys, I think that's it. Next week, we'll pull the Tarte Blush Book. We'll think about this one. It's just not fall, and I'm not into these kind of vibes, so I think I'm going to, like... Put this away way like in back home with my other palettes um and then we'll talk about which ones to do next because i really want to use this baby and this urban decay one so we'll see but we'll definitely pull the tart blush book next week i'll bite my tongue because i usually say that and then that doesn't happen but hopefully over here, I have two setting sprays. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray. So like I said, I actually started to use this a couple times. And so I don't know, could this be helping my breakouts? I don't know, so we're not going to use it. And then this Mara Wadescu, um Skincare Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs, and Rose Water. Again, I didn't use this, but I don't want to add like fuel to the fire you know what I mean if my breakouts are like happening right now and this with all these herbs and stuff is gonna make it worse I don't want to spray it on so I'm gonna put that to the side then I also have this Ulta Beauty Rose Water Facial Mist which I have been using the most if you can see like where the line is in there and I really hope that it's this that's breaking me out because I don't like this and I'd be happily I'd happily throw this out but um so again, we're going to put this on the back burner. So we're not going to use a setting spray or a primer, um, which kind of sucks, but we will see. I'm also actually, do I want to? No, we'll put this on hold for a little bit, but um, and that will be on hold. That can be on hold. Um, so yeah, we are go over what we got and then yeah. Okay, so real quick, we'll just go through what I got pretty simple I don't have a primer again because of my terrible if you can see my breakouts oh my gosh guys like there are bumps across my entire face bumps so um we're gonna use the elf elf tinted moisturizer because I know that this does not break me out we're gonna use my Maybelline fit me concealer because again I know it was not this and as well I'm gonna use this elf 16 hour camo concealer in the shade medium beige this is in the shade beige, and this is in the shade sand sable, by the way. And then for setting powder, we are going to be using my e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. We're using a lot of e.l.f. this week. That was not on purpose, but hey. I have a lot of e.l.f. in my collection, so whatever. Um, that's this powder right here in there. And then for bronzer, we are using my Amuse Matte Bronzer and my new Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer bronzer in the shade what shady beaches and then for blush we're using two elf blushes the elf blush in the shade mellow mauve and um, berry mary as well as the nars blush the most famous nars blush of all once you guys repress something like it does not stop falling apart i'm sorry it just keeps going it's so annoying and then for highlighter, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. highlighter in the shade Apricot Glow. And for brows, we'll be using my Wet n Wild Brow Pencil in the shade Medium Brown. And the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. For eyes, we'll be using my ColourPop... Ooh, we're going ColourPop too. My ColourPop Ooh La La Palette. And my ColourPop Dream Street Palette. For mascara, we are using, actually, oh my gosh, I have an eyeliner for the first time. For eyeliner, we're using the LA, LA Splash Liquid Eyeliner. And then for mascara, we're using the Clinique High Impact Mascara and this, what is it called? The Color Workshop Mascara Enhanced in Curl Mascara. And then, for lips, we're using the Elf Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Champagne Glam, Glam and then the AOA Studio Wonder Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Hype. So, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Super quick, super easy. Next videos will be a little bit longer just because I will be applying the makeup, telling you how that last week's makeup worked. <clears throat> but, yeah, I really hope you enjoy this. Let me know, like, if you have any tips and tricks to make these videos more exciting. I did give it a break just to spice things up a little bit when you come back. Um, and I really enjoyed that. So, um, yeah. That's it for this video. Really hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.